Today I'm going to be talking about the, the new Xbox One that recently came out. It's the new generation of gaming, but it also goes beyond that. Uh, it allows you to watch TV, um, as well as many other commands that I'll expand on later. It's pretty much an all-in-one Xbox. Some cool features it uses is the 8-core 86 processor system that allows you to switch between a game and your entertainment with ease. It also has an HDMI cord uh, connection that connects not only to your TV but to your cable allowing you to switch to your TV while gaming. Um, it also has a ton of memory. It has 8 gigabytes of RAM and 500 gigabytes of uh, memory that allows you to use in your games, demos, movies, apps, music, and more. And finally, it does include a Blu-ray, so that allows you to watch uh, Blu-ray discs in this Xbox. The new Xbox is a similar home screen as the previous ones, um, but one of the new things is all you have to say is Xbox on once you walk in the room, and it will be instantly recognized um, and personalized by your voice. Um, and once you do that, the home screen will pop up with all your favorite games, apps, and content. And you can also adjust that and personalize that to what you'd like. Another cool feature is you can connect uh, the Xbox right to your cable or satellite box, making it so you can follow all your favorite television shows right through your Xbox. Um, so you can even just personalize it and allows you to pin certain shows and apps that you watch the most to your main page. This new Xbox was really built to be a social network type thing. You can chat with friends uh, online um, along with uh, using Skype, which is one of their new features I'll hit on in a second. But while you're chatting with friends, uh, you can do it so while watching a TV show uh, or a football game. You can even share like highlights of the game you're watching with the friends that are also on. But uh, to go back to the Skype portion of it, you can Skype with friends while you're gaming or while you're watching TV, um, along with having three-way Skype calls with people around the entire world. Like I said earlier, this is a new generation for Xboxes, um, and that is the same with the apps that are going to be accessible on it. So you can pin any app uh, that you want onto your main page, and even some new apps that will only be accessible through the Xbox will be available. One of those is the Internet Explorer app that is different than any other Xbox. It allows you to browse the web to search for whatever you'd like. However, as you know, the Xbox One was built for gamers. It has the perfect balance of power and performance. Xbox One takes gaming to a whole new level. It has stunning realism um, through the advancement of new technology that allows for ideal graphics. Um, one cool feature is even when you're not playing, the the game doesn't stop. So say you're playing like uh, in Madden, which is a football game, and um, in real life a person gets injured, in your game the person will be injured, or if a person has a really good game and their stats should be boosted, then in the game they'll be boosted. So it's up-to-date stats, up-to-date graphics, everything's up-to-date. So when you're not playing your game, it still is playing for you. Because uh, the game is always on, even if you're not playing, um, this allows for new the new generation of achievements. Um, it has richer detail and spans across your games and experiences, uh, which means achievements are no longer confined to a single game, and you can earn achievements in more ways since the new ones can be added dynamically at any time. It, it not only keeps track of what you've earned, but how you earned it, so it's more personal than ever. Another cool thing is with the online portion, many people will use Xbox Live, and uh, in the previous Xboxes we'd get pretty upset with the connection, but now they have a new uh, connection with this using Smart Match. With this new Xbox, there are many games that have been very popular over the years that are actually adapted specifically and exclusively to the Xbox One. One is Forza Motorsports 5. It has been the highest rated racing franchise for the past uh, 10 years, and it was created exclusively for Xbox One. They say that um, it's supposed to blur the lines between gameplay and television, meaning the graphics are going to be um, spectacular. Another popular game that is going to be coming back to Xbox is Quantum Break. Um, it's similar to the racing game in the sense that the graphics are supposed to be uh, far and beyond better than anything we've ever seen. So it'll be interesting uh, to see what it's like when it comes out. The last game I'm going to talk about is going to be Call of Duty. Um, the franchise that has defined a generation of gaming is set to raise the bar once again with uh, all new Call of Duty Ghost, it's called. Um, the gameplay in this one, along with the multiplayer online, is supposed to be brand new that no one has ever seen. It's supposed to come out in uh, early November this upcoming year. 
In conclusion, the new Xbox One has a slogan that goes, Here for today, built for tomorrow. It has a cutting-edge design that meets cutting-edge technology. It delivers entertainment experience like nothing before. Its innovative technology is uh, rivaled only by its iconic design. Xbox One was designed from the ground up to be the centerpiece of every living room.